that's also what made me really, really a lot better is when we when we signed Keeb Talib. Mm-hmm. You know, I was it was like my fourth year or something, just going on one on one with right, him, right. and then we signed Reeve. And you know how practices that, that, are. Right, yeah. We were we were going one on ones every day, right? And so I got yeah. to learn. I got to get. You know, I I learned what made him not like shit, and I learned right. you know what I had to do to get open on right, certain right. things. Reeve was through those a, practice right. reps. Reeve was the most patient corner ever, wasn't he? Patient and a long, strong as shit. He had a long arm, but he had a short base. So usually, you know, right. there's corners that are tall corners right. that you get them running right. sideways. Can't, can't, can't get out the break. Yeah, you know, they can't get out of the break. But he was like one of those swimmer built type guys where he had a long upper body, but a short mm-hmm. lower body. And he always was on balance. Yep. So he was very patient in line scrimmage and he had a crazy offhand jam. Mm-hmm. And his offhand jam, usually you get like a, a corner, his size, he wasn't like a big, big right. guy. He was five eleven. Heavy handed. Heavy handed. <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? He had a, he had a heavy hand. That's so if he got you, me, yeah. but sometimes when, uh, when a DB would give you that offhand jam, if you were to grind through it and get through it, they're out of position sometimes. He was never out of position. Mm-hmm. And then he'd also know, like what you just said, when when you were preparing and you saw the tight end here and the guy on the, the split here, right. you you identified formation right. and it gave you subconscious reaction. Right. He would go out and he would be able to call a play just by the situation and, and our formation, mm-hmm. which you we all know right, our right, plays, exactly, but like exactly. he was doing that in the games too. Yeah, no, I mean he you was know, he, so. he, he was something special. And then Gilmore came, and yep. it, you know it was also great to compete against him. So I would say my development as a receiver was through the practice, through the psychology of Chad O'Shea, through watching Wes Welker and how he practiced, watching the the film of Troy Brown, Dion Branch. I would watch their film. I wanted to see the guys catching the balls in this system. Right, right. And we had that. So that, and then practicing against the great players that we had because practice was so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. You know, we practiced hard. 